In this video, you'll learn how to review documents in Viva Site Vault as a monitor or CRA. The flow for conducting monitoring reviews is as follows. 1. The site will grant you monitor access to Site Vault using your Viva ID or Viva account you specify. 2. Once access is granted, review the monitoring tabs in the site's eBinder to see which items need action or review. 3. Perform review and update the document monitoring status. 4. As part of the review, log any relevant document issues or missing document issues. 5. Once logged, the site will work to resolve the issues you logged. 6. Once the site has taken action, you can log back in to perform a follow-up review to ensure issues were resolved and any requested documents have been filed. As Site Vault is site owned and management, your site must grant you access into their Viva Site Vault. If you have an existing Viva account, please confirm with your site contact which Vault account they should use. If you are a net new Viva user, please register for your Viva IDs and inform your site so they may grant you access to their site. Since you can have access to multiple different sites, when logging into Site Vault, always ensure you are accessing the correct research organization and site from your Vault selector. To view the Study eBinder, navigate to the Documents tab and select Study eBinder. There are several tabs to assist in your document review. These tabs make it very easy to navigate to documents that require your action. Here's a breakdown of the tabs, all which shows all documents you are able to see as a monitor for the study. Ready for review includes any documents that either have not been reviewed or are in the in-progress state of review. Complete, which shows only documents that have a finalized monitoring review status. The monitoring status is also a key indicator of where the document is in the monitoring workflow. You can easily update the monitoring status of a document by using the PIL selector, which will show you all the available statuses for the document. For example, you can select Review Not Required for documents that do not require your review. This will remove the document from your Ready for Review tab. The Reviewed No Issues status will also make the document populate in the Complete tab and indicate that no additional actions need to occur for the document. You can quickly open the document from the eBinder. This will open the document in a new tab where you can also update the document's monitoring status. For documents that have an issue, you can select Issues Found from the Monitoring Status pill. Selecting this will open a document issue window for recording the specifics of the issue. Creating this issue will create an issue for the site to resolve and notify the site admins both with an email and with an in-site vault notification that the issue has been created. You can also create a missing document issue using the Request Missing Document button that is at the bottom of the available tabs in the Study eBinder. Clicking Request Missing Document creates a pop-up window with a free text field where you can specify which document is missing and needs to be uploaded by the site. You can review all the issues you have created for a study from the Open Issues tab in the Study eBinder. This tab shows all the open monitoring issues you have on the study, both document and missing document issues. You can also easily cancel a document issue if the item was logged in error by using the X Cancel button. As stated, the site will be notified via email and in-site vault notifications of any issues you have logged. They will then take any necessary action to resolve the issues. When sites complete their responses to your logged monitoring issues, you will also receive both email and in-site notifications. The study eBinder will be updated with any newly ready for review documents. 
Additionally, you can see any documents that have a new document version or has been upversioned. You will be required to review each unique version for monitoring. For more information on monitoring in SiteVault, check out our Help Center.